Alrighty, so I've uh, just finished tying up the last of the rebar for the puddings. And I thought I'd do a little video to show you what it looks like. Um, this is the view standing on the mechanical room at the, the lowest uh, floor level, looking out to the view. That, well, the driveway's going to come up a bit there too, but hopefully we'll be able to see up over the driveway. And uh, so here we have it. This is uh, the longer rebars there are where the walls are going to be, and these shorter ones are where the door is going to be. We have a six foot, you know, three and three door to go in and out of the space here. And uh, yeah, so 20 inches from here to here. About eight inches from there up to here, three inches, three inches of foam below, three inches on each side. Um, the surveying pins, they, uh, yeah, I think you can see them down in there. So I left these little cutouts so that the inspectors can see it. Some of the joints I've filled up with expanding foam. And it's a little bit extra strapping to hold these outside corners in place. It, it's uh, really it's firm even without those, but I thought I'd put them in anyways. Um, these little screws here, it's an idea that I had. Um, it's essentially for the concrete to grab onto the grab onto the head of it, flow around this. You're in at an angle so that um, once everything's said and done, you're going to be taking off these things, they're just temporary to hold things in place while the, until the concrete sets in place. And they they kind of flip over and they're, they're upside down right now. And they're going to be screwed into these things right, that I made previously. You know, so there's a little bit of wood in there to keep the concrete out. And then wherever the, the eight inch wall ends up being, four, you know, four inches on either side of this, here, and you can just sort of screw down into that and the foam and everything. It all takes care of itself. So, a lot of wire twisting in there. I'll show you. Yeah. So this is, like I say, the, what I made up before the jigs. So this, uh, what, I, what I did, Every every 16 inches made a mark, and they just cut vertically down into the, the foam, and that allowed you know to to uh, slip in place, and then the metal tracks butt up to here, and then later on when the tracks and everything are off. And this little flap here will keep the foam in place. So the idea then again is to put these little screw holes to help keep the foam in place down below. And the reason I want to do that is because I'll be uh, digging all of this out and screening it and turning it into about six inches of gravel and then I'm going to have three inches of foam on top of that. And then the uh, floor of the uh, mechanical room will flow up here another three inches of concrete on top of that over to here. Yeah. So like I said there's, yeah, there's gonna be a door there. And come around here and uh, it's gonna be a window here so I should be able to see something that hump of dirt should be. A lot of, a lot of tying, for sure. And, you know, the little yellow top of the pins that the surveyors put in. <laughs> we have uh, mushrooms growing here, so I think that bodes well for this dirt for mushrooms. So I'll have to remember that for later on when we're actually living here. 
So, 20 inches, 8 inches, and 120 feet long, so it ends up being about 4 cubic meters of concrete. And uh, I'm going to put in most of it by a wheelbarrow. So that will remind me of the days of my youth when I used to do that. Fortunately, there will be no planks or raised things to um, be a challenge. This would be quite, quite easy, according to the concrete guy that showed up and we had a little chit chat. So they'll be backing up the concrete truck to there, and we'll be able to probably do uh, with this with the chute that they have, we'll be able to probably fill from about here all the way around to there and then the rest will have to shoot it in, shoot it into a wheelbarrow and then just sort of wheel it all the way around. Um, calculations are depending on how full I make the wheelbarrow, you know, don't put it right to the top, it'll be about five cubic meters or five cubic feet and that ends up being about 20 to 25 wheelbarrows. The these are starting to fall like crazy here. Hopefully, it won't be too much to clean up. So I wanted to also show you how this thing is going to work here as well. So I brought a couple of the, the foam thingies. So, as I said before, you know, I'll pry these things up and then they'll end up being these little C-channels here. And that... So I'll sit right about there on that side. And then we got a big long one there. And so of course I'll cut it off to length and stuff like that, but screw right straight down through that into the tracking. Or into the space of the tracking. So I don't have to drill any holes, I don't have to use those uh, powder guns to shoot things and it'll be much it'll be stronger and it'll be easier yeah. so these are the three inches of uh, ICS that have come in four foot by one foot panels and they've got knobs on this end that fit into holes on that end so essentially this really is you know, Lego box, and they just sort of slide into the tracking like that, once the tracking is secure. And then of course you have another panel on the other side, and they just slide into place like so. And then you have these green ties green ties with three inch panels ends up being a eight inch wall. So you just, you just slide in like that and then these little slots, these little grooves here are for the rebar to sit in depending on the requirements. And yeah, way more rebar to go so then the, the concrete would eventually go into there. Anyway, I just thought I'd give you a little um, peek at what I'm been up to and the next steps here. So, yeah, the entire house is going to sit on three inches of foam. And that's mostly for the thermal break. So three inches of foam is, is uh, I think it's about four, inch, uh, four R's per inch. So that ends up being about 12. 12R for resistance to heat and passage, so yeah, well more on that later. At any rate, uh, yeah, that's it for now. And